What is happening? What's going on? It's Phil. This is going to be a short video. Um, I get this question a decent amount, and it's basically, hey, I want to. How do I pull up? Uh, how do I pull up what cone beams I've taken over time? Can I do that? And uh, the short answer is yes. But uh, there's two scenarios. One is through your uh, standalone imaging software. So if you're using CareStream Imaging, standalone, not connected or bridged or integrated to your practice management software, uh, that's going to be a standalone imaging scenario. The second is if you are connected or bridged to practice management software. And uh, we'll go through both of these. Uh, this is currently version 8.0.2. So the way to do it here is not an automatic way to extract that information. So if you wanted to track that stuff over time, you could do it. It's just a simple little workaround. When you add a new patient, okay, uh, this patient ID, first of all, you can change this to whatever you want. You can put this as uh, your chart ID. You can put this as whatever number you want for that patient. And at the end of it, the extension, just add CBCT. All right, so let's just add a patient. Thanks, buddy. All right, so now we've got a patient bugs bunny with all these other patients. And all I have to do is search for CBCT and it will sort out every single patient that has a CBCT. Let's take that a step further. I can even categorize it for more details. Let's add a new patient and let's say I want to track all my maxillary cases. I watched too many cartoons as a kid. We'll select uh, create. So now let's do a search for maxilla and there's all my patients for maxilla. Maybe I wanna track all my full head cases. And there you go. So it's a pretty easy way to add these patients and categorize them and then extract information later. Okay, so that's how to do it in standalone. So let's cover practice management integration or bridge next. All right, so the obvious way to track which cone beams you've captured when you're integrated or bridged from a practice management software is really just simply add your codes, add your dental codes, CDT codes, whatever you like to call them, and then you can extract those reports that show how many cone beams you've captured over a particular time. And then you could even categorize it, how many, how many uh, single jaw arches, how many maxillary arches, because all the codes are different. So... That's a real obvious and simple way to do it when you are actually bridged and integrated to some sort of practice management software.